So I was talking to a client about why he needs to use music while he meditates, and we covered a lot of really good stuff, and I'm going to mention some of it here. So one, meditation is for one of two reasons. Either you're trying to ground yourself into the physical reality where the, the truth of the matter is. <laughs> In other words, matter is truth because matter just is, right? I can show you this. You can see what it is. You might not know its functions or whatever or what I call it or whatever, but you can see that it is. That's the truth. Um, so you're either trying to ground into the truth using your five senses, your smell, your tactile feel, taste, sight, things like that help you ground into reality. Now, that's one reason to meditate. Your second reason to meditate is to um, go ground yourself into non-reality, the non-material reality, so that you can process emotions, thoughts, all of this stuff that isn't happening to you in the present. So in other words, you are fixated on the future, you're fixated on the past, or you are fixated on the um, present moment, but all of the non-material things in your present moment, such as a feeling. Sometimes you can just be living your life and then you are overwhelmed with the feeling of sadness and you can't figure out why. It's a good time to meditate. If you need to ground yourself into reality because right now is not a good time for you to be dealing with processing emotions, then ground into reality. If you can ground into your non-material world, then you can process that feeling. You can allow yourself time to feel it to find out what it's attached to, process it, you've acknowledged it, understand how it makes you feel, um, and then figure out how you can express it. And that kind of whole process of usually tells you what the feeling is about eventually as you're trying to figure out how to express, things like that. Either way, it gives you the, the time to put your mental attention to it. And through that, through whatever skill level you have and what capacity you have, hopefully you're constantly a learning and growing human being, um, you will use the tools that you have to figure out where this sadness is coming from and how to process it and how to express it, essentially. Um, so those are the two reasons to meditate. Now, the reason why you want to use music to meditate is because, one, music or sound changes the vibration of water. You are 70% of water. Also, let's think about what feelings are. Uh, let me get a diagram. So feelings are your interpretation of energy through vibration, which is why um, water, the water element, uh, your feeling changes or the, a vibration of energy changes the water and the, whatever that shape takes on has a feeling. Okay, so let's just use, I don't know, like a star, for example, and let's say a star represents anger. If this emotion um, if you're going to interpret it through anger, your water energy is going to start looking like a bunch of stars. All of a sudden, all of the water in your body is going to take on the shape of a star, little stars everywhere. And you interpret that as anger. So the way you are interacting with this emotion or this energy is with anger, the feeling of anger. It, it, you're interpreting it that way. Um, now, does that mean that this is an angry situation or something like that? No, that's just how you're interacting with it. But you see how it's all water-based. So because you are a water-based person, like water is everywhere, you get the point. Um, sound vibration or vibration, which is energy, changes water. And so therefore music or sound changes your vibration. When people sing songs and stuff like that, and they are expressing themselves, um, and you are emotionally connected to whatever you are listening to, put that on a playlist. Do not put music on a playlist that you have to think about, stuff that's just catchy and it's an earworm. You don't even know why you like it. That's not something to put on a playlist. Put something on a playlist where you're like, you would put that shit on repeat because this just do something to you. Or that shit that just makes you feel like you're on top of the world, like you can, can conquer mountains. You need to start listening to music with the consciousness of what is this communicating to me and how am I resonating with it and put that stuff on a playlist. Now, this is what I usually advise is um, however you are feeling, just take a week, just take a full week, listen to music and listen to new music. One, you need to get over judging people. So my client was like, I don't really like white boy music. And I was like, well, white boys have feelings too. And they express themselves as well. Like there can be artists who are white boys. And at the end of the day, you judging an entire sound <laughs> is not going to help you navigate the similar sounds 
out there. In other words, you have to like, you have to open your mind and st like, this is part of decolonization. Now my client just so happens to be a marginalized person. So it's very understandable why there's a negative association with a person who looks a certain way, singing about hardships that maybe this person has not undergone in this particular type of way. But through decolonization, you understand that we are all human beings experiencing a human experience. And we're also in a dreams and different dream cycles and they're hectic and crazy and stuff like that. So one, you're going to be under understanding and learning um, the judgments that you make and how to be open and expand yourself in a safe way. You're just listening to different music. Mm. Now, if something just does not resonate with you, it does, does not feel good, move along. You don't need to be listening to stuff and expanding yourself to the point of torture. Mm but just a thought exercise. So one that, but you need to be listening to all sorts of different stuff. Go to a place or use TikTok as a means of just getting new music. People who sing and people who are singing to communicate something to you have a message. And if that message resonates, put it on a playlist. That's it. Um, also, you need to start being aware of the people who are in your playlist and the stuff that they are communicating. If your whole playlist is full of a bunch of people who unalive themselves, be careful. If your playlist is, is full of a bunch of people who hate the world and hate themselves and hate everything in it and hate this person, and hate that person, and they're on their villain era, be careful because you're, that's, that's what you are going to turn into. This also lets you know where you are. If this is all you're resonating with and you're, you've been asking yourself, if I, am I the villain? Well, I guess so, because damn, this is all you're listening to. Um, for those of you who love Taylor Swift, be careful. <laughs> there's a reason why y'all be crazy but this also helps you understand how to, how to have an identity in which music is an extension of how you express or understand it instead of using music and artists as a fucking personality through parasocial relationships y'all gotta work on that now what you do is you just let that playlist play put it on shuffle even and while you're meditating and then um every two to three minutes or every two to five minutes or you know if you got plink void on there every two to ten minutes who the fuck knows um you're going to be shifting your energy without you actually meaning to a new song is going to come on you're going to put yourself fully into the music understand feel what what feelings come up identify that feeling under, listen to the lyrics, listen to what that means to you, and this is how you get to know your emotions and your feelings in a safe way, because you're conjuring them using music. But then also you can let it go, because in two, three minutes, or, you know, ten minutes, whatever, this shit's going to change, and it's going to be a new song. If you were doing this without music, and you were in a deep, de depressive feeling or something like that, you're just going to sit in it and ruminate on it. And if you don't have the tools to be able to alchemize that and move out of it, and I'm telling you, even I find that difficult. If I am just sitting somewhere having to do it all myself with nothing external, especially if nothing is happening in my physical world, I'm just dealing with non-material stuff. Nothing's about to shake up this energy. I have to do the shake up. I have to move it. What I have to now, now I have to, I'm pissed or I'm frustrated, or maybe I'm sad, and I'm depressed, and I want to rot like a potato. What about rotting like a potato makes me want to get up and shift my energy around? Absolutely the fuck nothing. But music, I don't even have to do anything. I don't have to move, I don't have to do anything, and that's automatically going to start shifting my energy, which then allows you to then, okay, now ground yourself into reality, take that shift of energy, and start moving. You see what I'm saying? So music, music, meditate with music. It helps, it works. Um, but also it's going to teach you how to be more conscious about what you consume. Mm.